Have you ever felt like you're giving more than you're receiving in a relationship? This feeling of imbalance is often a sign of a lack of reciprocity, and it's particularly common when dealing with narcissists. Narcissists, individuals with a heightened sense of self-importance and a lack of empathy, often struggle with this concept of give and take. They may take more than they give, leaving partners or friends feeling neglected and undervalued. This imbalance isn't just about material things. It could be emotional support, time, effort, or even respect. And such imbalance can lead to emotional exhaustion, resentment, and a whole lot of conflict. Today, we will delve into the reasons behind this imbalance and its consequences. We will explore why narcissists often struggle with reciprocity, the impact this has on their relationships, and what you can do if you find yourself in such a situation. So let's start unpacking this complex issue, shall we? To understand the lack of reciprocity, we first need to comprehend what narcissism is. Narcissism at its core is a personality disorder characterized by a grandiose sense of self-importance. Narcissists often harbor fantasies of unlimited success, power, brilliance, beauty, or ideal love. They believe that they are special and unique, and can only be understood by or should associate with other special or high-status individuals or institutions. But the inflated sense of self-importance is just the tip of the iceberg. A key trait of narcissists is their focus on self-interest. They are preoccupied with their own desires, ambitions, and needs, often to the exclusion of others. This self-centered perspective makes it challenging for them to invest in others, reciprocate kindness, or even recognize the needs and feelings of those around them. One of the major obstacles to reciprocity in narcissists is their inability to empathize. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, is a crucial element of reciprocity in relationships, but narcissists, by and large, find it difficult to step into someone else's shoes, to feel what they feel, or to show genuine concern for their well-being. This lack of empathy can make their interactions with others one-sided and transactional, rather than reciprocal and mutually beneficial. Lastly, narcissists are often fearful of vulnerability, opening up, showing genuine emotional investment, acknowledging weaknesses or flaws, these actions can feel threatening to a narcissist. They fear that showing their true selves might expose them to criticism, rejection, or shame. So they erect walls, remain aloof, and avoid showing genuine care or concern, all of which hinder reciprocal relationships. These traits, the inflated sense of self-importance, the focus on self-interest, the inability to empathize, and the fear of vulnerability can significantly affect the dynamics of a relationship, leading to a lack of reciprocity. It's a complex and challenging issue, but understanding these underlying factors can be the first step towards navigating and possibly improving relationships with narcissists. Why do narcissists struggle with reciprocity in relationships? Let's break it down. At the heart of their struggle lies an inflated sense of self-importance. Narcissists often carry an internal belief that they are superior and more deserving. This entitlement fuels their expectation of one-sided relationships where they receive more than they give. They perceive their own needs as paramount. And this focus on self-interest sidelines the needs and desires of others. This self-centered perspective is coupled with an inability to empathize. Understanding and sharing the feelings of others is not a strong suit for narcissists making it hard for them to reciprocate genuine care and concern. They may not fully grasp the impact of their actions on those around them, leading to a cycle of take, take, and take some more. Additionally, fear of vulnerability also plays a crucial role. Narcissists guard their emotional selves fiercely, fearing that openness might expose their insecurities and perceived flaws. This fear often drives them to withdraw emotionally, hindering any form of genuine reciprocity in a relationship. What does this look like in practice? Imagine a partner consistently making sacrifices to accommodate a narcissist's wishes, only to find their own needs dismissed or ignored, or a friend constantly providing emotional support without receiving the same level of care in return. These are just a few examples of the lack of reciprocity that can manifest in relationships with narcissists. However, it's essential to remember that not every narcissist is the same. The extent and expression of their lack of reciprocity can vary widely. Some may exhibit more subtle forms of one-sidedness, 
while others may be blatantly dismissive of others' needs. The narcissist's sense of entitlement and self-focus, coupled with their inability to empathize and fear of vulnerability, often leads to a one-sided relationship. But understanding these dynamics is the first step towards navigating such relationships more effectively. By recognizing these patterns, you can better protect your own emotional well-being and set healthier boundaries in your interactions with narcissists. The imbalance in a relationship with a narcissist can have significant repercussions. This lack of reciprocity creates a one-sided dynamic that can lead to a multitude of issues, both for the relationship and for the individuals involved. The first consequence we often see is the development of one-sided relationships. Narcissists have a tendency to take more than they give, leaving their partners feeling unseen, undervalued and neglected. This imbalance can make the relationship feel like a constant uphill battle, with one party doing most of the heavy lifting while the other reaps the benefits. This dynamic can also lead to emotional exhaustion. When you're constantly giving and not receiving much in return, it's like pouring water into a bottomless well. Over time, this can leave you feeling drained and depleted as though you're running on empty. The lack of emotional support and reciprocity can be damaging, not just to the relationship, but to your own emotional well-being. Conflict and resentment are other common consequences. When there's a significant imbalance in a relationship, it's natural for feelings of resentment and anger to brew. You might start to question why your needs aren't being met, why you're always the one giving and why your partner doesn't seem to value or appreciate your efforts. This can lead to frequent arguments, misunderstandings and tension further straining the relationship. Finally, the lack of reciprocity can make it difficult for narcissists to maintain healthy and lasting relationships. When one person is always taking and rarely giving, it's only a matter of time before the other party decides they've had enough. This can lead to a cycle of short-lived relationships with the narcissist moving from one partner to the next without understanding why their relationships keep falling apart. These consequences can be damaging not just for the relationship, but for the individuals involved as well. It's a tough situation to be in, but understanding the dynamics at play can be the first step towards addressing the issue and seeking the help and support you need. If you find yourself in a relationship with a narcissist, it's crucial to prioritize your own well-being. Narcissists, due to their inherent personality traits, can create an environment that's emotionally draining and conflict-ridden. But remember, you're not powerless in these situations. Firstly, it's essential to recognize the signs of narcissism and the lack of reciprocity, as understanding the situation is the first step towards dealing with it. By acknowledging the narcissist's behavior, you can start to detach from their influence and avoid getting pulled into their world. Next, it's important to set boundaries. It's okay to say no when you're uncomfortable with their demands. It's okay to ask for your needs to be met, and remember it's okay to walk away if the relationship is causing more harm than good. You have every right to protect your emotional and mental well-being. Thirdly, practice self-care. Narcissists may drain your emotional energy, leaving you feeling depleted. Therefore, it's crucial to replenish your energy through activities that bring you joy, peace, and relaxation. It could be as simple as reading a book, taking a walk, or spending time with loved ones. Lastly, seek support. Dealing with a narcissist can be challenging and at times lonely. Reach out to friends, family, or a professional therapist who can provide advice, comfort, and a listening ear. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. It's important to note that narcissism is a complex personality disorder, and not all narcissists are alike. Some may be willing to change and work on their behavior, while others may not. It's not your responsibility to change them, but to take care of yourself and make decisions that serve your best interest. Remember, understanding is the first step towards dealing with the situation. Be kind to yourself and don't hesitate to seek help. We hope this video provided you with insights into the lack of reciprocity in relationships with narcissists. We discussed how their inflated sense of self-importance, focus on self-interest, inability to empathize, and fear of vulnerability contribute to their struggle with reciprocity. This imbalance can lead to one-sided relationships, emotional exhaustion, conflict, resentment, and difficulty maintaining lasting relationships. Remember, it's crucial to prioritize your own well-being if you find yourself in a relationship with a narcissist. 
Don't hesitate to seek support from friends, family, or a professional therapist. We all deserve to be in relationships that are balanced and fulfilling. If there's something you'd like to add, or if you have a personal experience or question, we'd love to hear from you. Is there anything specific about the lack of reciprocity in narcissists that you'd like to discuss further? Leave a comment and we'll make a follow-up video.